because in Africa we've been told that there's a creator in heaven in Africa you don't need to go to church to know that there's a creator in heaven we all believe that there's a creator in heaven but we don't know how to communicate with him and uh, that day I went to the jungle and the bush myself I began to weep and said creator if you there save my soul I was sitting on the rock under the tree I lay down like this looking to heaven say creator if you there save my soul for three weeks every afternoon I disappeared at home I was there under the tree I didn't tell anybody I was there under the tree myself creator if you there save my soul but one afternoon while I was there under the tree something happened which is very hard to explain but I was there I felt the presence of God very strong then I heard the music in heaven like like the whole heaven is singing beautiful very thick music singing then I began to try to listen and I hear the voice say sing not fear not and then something my heart like fire burning then I went to home I said mother I'm leaving I'm going to look for the preacher who can tell me about God that's why all my testimony I said I met God before I met a preacher <laughs> because I had I left home to look for the preacher I went around far away to look for the preacher someone who can tell me about Jesus I went to another church they were preaching exactly those days they were preaching exactly the same all sinners go to the hells all sinners go to the hell but they didn't show me how to escape that <laughs> They were adding more problem to me but thank God one day I met a very simple man and this man he knew Jesus the way he explained to me it was very simple but it was so sweet there I knelt down I asked God to forgive all my sins and I ask Jesus to come in my heart peace and joy come in my heart and from that time I wanted someone who can help me to to help me to grow in the Lord and I saw an old man who used to go and preach I began to go with him and sometime carrying his briefcase going with him wherever he was going to preach I didn't I didn't want to be a preacher I, I had my desire was to save a preacher or to do something for the preacher or to carry his briefcase or give him something or anything what he wants that was in my desire I just want to save it, uh, the servants of God and it was wonderful when I was doing that I was I enjoyed it very much but uh, suddenly I find myself begin to preach <laughs> suddenly I find myself God begin to use me in healing men men people begin to uh, receive healing then I went back where I was born this time I was already preacher I went back where I was born to my mother and began to preach my mother and my mother gave her life to the Lord my brother and my sister and I have opportunity of baptizing my mother in the water myself and uh, the whole family become a Christian I thank God for that and uh, we serve a very good God I have to make it a long story the, the way I struggle I went through what could I say through fire through water so many trial which I went through but I thank God I thank God that time in my country there was no a black man who can preach himself without under white missionary and that was my problem when I 
began to preach, then I was in a big problem. And anyway, I thank God that uh, through the hard time, 